Hey, Mike, good to see you again. Uh, we were just asking Bruce about this, but how surreal is it to think back um, a year ago to the Big 12 tournament, that game that you guys beat against TCU? It's kind of the moment everything changed with COVID and whatnot. What, what are your memories? What stands out to you about that kind of bizarre, bizarre night in KC? Um, well, obviously, just like the win stands out. Uh, it was a lot of fun last year to get that, that win. And uh, we're feeling good about ourselves after a long, rough season, similar to this one. But, uh, you know, last year, last year that it, was, it was a lot happened very fast after that game. And then ever since then, everything's been different. So uh, now we're going to play them again and in the same tournament, even though a lot of things have changed since then. When did you first get the sense that that was going to be it? You weren't going to play any more games. Um, the following morning, we were, we were having our scout meeting, but like just the vibes, everything you could tell, like it was it was going to get once like once you heard because I remember during the game is when somebody came up to me at halftime said, "Uh, Rudy Gobert has COVID. Uh, the NBA shut down," and I'm like, once you once you hear that, you're like. So we finished our game, and you just got the feeling that it was it was gonna it wasn't gonna last much longer. I got you, I got you. And uh, looking ahead to this next game, you guys have an opportunity here to uh, finish Big Twelve play with four wins, three out of your last four. How important is it to you to end this season on a high note? Um, it's very important to me because uh, I mean, well, all our work has led up to this point. You know, um, all the trials and tribulations, all the learning the losses we took uh everything we've i mean we, we've been through a lot this year as a team and we went through a, a lot of rough patches but uh it's all led up to this point so now all we could do is try to finish the right way all right thanks mike good luck tomorrow thank you uh next question uh for luke hey mike uh being on a team filled with underclassmen, uh, what, how has your approach been to leading the team and helping the younger players throughout the tough season? Um, you know, it, it's been just trying to enjoy them and, and help them as, as many ways as I possibly can on and off the court. Uh, you know, uh, this, is, this isn't a, a usual freshman and sophomore experience with the, the way this year has gone. And, I try to tell them like this. This hasn't been normal, but they've done such a great job staying positive and focusing on basketball, and really improving and getting better every day. And even through the tough parts, that I mean, I'm just I'm I'm I'm, I'm very happy for them and happy for what they've been able to endure. And uh, what have you enjoyed the most about being the the veteran guy filled with the team of all the young players? Um. What have I enjoyed the most? Uh, I, it's it. I guess it doesn't really come down to me being older, just me being a part of it. And um, we like we've really got a lot of special, special young players on this team that uh that they're growing growing into great basketball players that they could be. Um, honestly, it's just it's just fun. It's fun to watch and fun to be a part of because uh, like I said, these dudes like. I really, I really like, like, really love this group because they, they work hard, they work very hard, and they want to get better. Thank you, Mike. Good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Mike. Um, you've won two of your last three, and you've got games here, the next two games against teams that you have beaten. Uh, how important is this to – kind of finish out strong here and, and get through, uh, kind of get over the hump with everything that's gone wrong so far this year? Yeah, it's it's very important because uh, we've worked very hard and um, the coaches have been on us and uh, we've taken it, we've accepted it, and we've grown from it. And uh, now at this point, we have an opportunity to just finish the year strong. And um, that's, that's uh, at, with all that's happened, that's all we could do. And uh, it's very important that that we just go out the right way um, for the fans, for ourselves, for the coaches, everybody. And what's it say about Nigel that uh, he has to sit out another game due to a health issue and you guys lose, but you just seem to be so much more functional with 
him, and he's only a freshman point guard. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's no doubt that he's a special young talent um, with a bunch of ability. Uh, I mean, he's one probably the best shot maker I've ever played with. Just all sim- pure skill, pure shooting. Um, no offense to anybody else, but uh, <laughs> he's just he's gr- he's grown, and um, he's somebody that like you just like he doesn't get tired. He doesn't run out of energy. He can come every day to get better, work hard, and um, it's like you'd be like like being around him. You're like, man, you, you would think he'd get tired, but nah, he just come, he comes every day to get better and enjoys the game. Always has a smile on his face, uh, ready to ready to play, ready to work. That took me right into my next question because of what's going on, and we only interact with you via these kind of weird situations on Zoom. We don't get to see the little things at the end or start a practice. What's Nigel Pack like, kind of off the court as a dude? Uh, he he he. Um, so it's like he he seems quiet at times, but he's really he's a, he's a little goofball. Uh, <laughs> he likes he likes to play around. He likes to, uh, you know, he likes he's got a bunch of nice shoes. Uh, he has a nice car. He likes to drive and and uh, he's like he's he's all into cars. So, uh, but yeah, he's a he's a he's a really nice kid. You know, um, yeah, that's all. There's a lot you could say about him. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, next question to Jackson Snyder. Hey, Mike. Uh, just going back to last week against OU, you know, we didn't really know if that was going to be your last home game or not. And, and you go out on a big note, you know, maybe thinking that was your – last game at Bramlage, but now you get one more. Um, what's, what's, what was it like for you to just get that win? And then how uh, big would it be to just go out with a win here tomorrow as well? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, that, it was, it was, it was great. It was, it was special getting that win. And um, it felt good. It felt really good um, for everybody. It just, it brought joy to a bunch of us, to fans people that like hadn't felt that way in a while. So uh, now it's just trying to continue that. that. And uh, even though we're coming off a loss, we're trying to get back in the right direction at the right time. So uh, it's very important to get this, this win tomorrow. And then for you as a leader, knowing what the result was when you played Iowa State the first time, how, how do you stay focused, how you keep the guys focused, knowing that you're a different team than you were a couple months ago, and so is Iowa State? Um, just not – just help, help them in the ways that I know because uh, I've, I've seen it before. Uh, teams that you're not going to be the same team in December as you are in March. And um, that's, just, that's just college basketball. So uh, it's going to start with a great practice today, um, really. Great practice with a lot of focus. Um, this is uh, this is uh, Coach Henderson scout. So uh, he's been doing a great job with these scouts. So we're just going to lock in on the game plan. Um, have a great practice, a lot of energy. Go out tomorrow and have fun. See what we could do. And then just lastly for me to look a little bit ahead to next week in Kansas City um, and how weird that was for you to finish last year against TCU. What's it like for you to look at that as another opportunity to possibly try and do what you did again and this time maybe get to finish it? Uh, yeah, that, that is uh, – it's going to be similar to last year for the run that it did take. But, uh, man, I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a lot – it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's always fun going down to Kansas City, even though this year will be different without uh, – uh, with the atmosphere and whatnot, it's going to be a lot of fun regardless and uh can't wait first we got got to handle this business tomorrow all right mike thanks a lot thank you uh next question to kellis robinette hey mike i had one more for you how do you see yourself um you know evaluating the whole whether to come back to k-state or move on and do something else with your career after this year's over. How how are you going to handle that decision? To be honest, I, like I don't I don't even know yet. It's uh, I, I just I, like I, I I like I can't like I can't explain it because I just don't know, and that's just how I truly feel. Um, 
it's it's been a long four years that I've enjoyed. It's been a journey. I love it here, but uh, you know, like just you with the way the world is, you know, everything. You got to look at look in a bunch of like look at it in a bunch of different perspectives. So uh, right now, just gonna finish the season, uh, end it the right way, have fun, and then talk to my loved ones, talk to my family, friends, see what, see what their opinions are, and uh, everybody, and um, move forward from there. All right, fair enough. Hey, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh... Tim, did you have another question? I'm sorry. It was – oh, uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Sorry. No, I'm Go good. Ahead, I'm good. Oh, okay. Sorry. I got all these uh, – my little hands going up here, so there were the hands. Any other, any other questions for Mike before we let him go? Tim, did you – looks like you raised your hand again, so. Okay. Uh, Luke? You have another question? Uh, Mike, uh, in what ways do you feel you and the team have improved throughout the most throughout this, this season so far? Um, defense, I'd say, well, first, we've, we've really grown, like, our togetherness sort of, our gelling on offense and, and especially defense, uh, having each other's backs, doing everything as a team the right way. It's not make, not mean about one person. Um, we've really started to gel in that aspect, and um, on uh, but really on defense, we 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 listen, we listen, because uh, you know the coaches they know what they're talking about. Um, we've had some of the best defenses in the country at this school under this coaching staff. Um, I've been a part of it, and uh, they're they're really knowledgeable when it comes to uh, defense, defensive schemes, and um, we've taken we've taken what they've said, and um, we've accepted it. We've listened to the truth, and we've learned from it, and um. That's that's helped us get better. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Sure. Next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Mike, is the complexity of the motion offense something that's that's really difficult for a young guy, a freshman to learn? Um it's I'd say more than anything, just college basketball. Like I because all I can remember is I'd like to I'd like to say I'm or at least smart kid, but I just remember coming in and it's not, not that it's not what it seems. It's just a lot. It's like, you just think you're, cause you're just used to your whole life going out there and just playing basketball, just doing whatever comes natural. Some of us in high school don't play as that much defense, even though many of us come in as special athletes, we don't play much defense coming in. And um, it took a lot of learning from uh, many people and, uh, concepts that are just new new to uh, freshmen to and now you got to process them on a basketball court over like during the as the game is so fast you got to continually process these uh these uh little things that you're you're being taught so uh over the course of time it gets it gets a lot easier but uh at first it just seems like a lot to many of them 